Hello and welcome to Crunch Time. My name is Jack Bogdan. My name is Alex Grinley. And we're sorry that we haven't really been here for you guys for the last week and a half. I caught the plague. And then I... Alex also caught the plague. I caught the flu. Okay. So, I, I, I'm gonna be yours honest. was a lot grosser than mine was. I really did kind of have something plague -ish. I don't quite know how to describe it other than there were spots involved, and I was really sick. That's not gross. Good. It was not That's good. gross. Kate was bad. It was real bad. I, I admit, my body fucked up. It did not work <laughs> the way it was supposed to. Um, but we're back for you. This is the news for January 31st, 2011. First story, Duke Nukem coming May 3rd, 2011. Duke is back. And if this title is a long is journey, a, if this, Duke has had. If his title is any indication, he's back forever. So, Jack, I know you're you're excited about this. You no, know, I am. I'm a big fan of Gearbox, and I didn't think Duke would be relevant, and I still don't know if he is, but he's still very <laughs> funny. And uh, you know, a character that is is, is entirely based off of one-liners, I can still stand behind that. Yeah. I mean, I'm buying into the idea that the game is completely ridiculous and crude and disgusting, but also right. very funny. And I can, yeah. I'm can, i game with that. Are you game with that, Alex? I'm game with that. I, it looks good. Everything they're showing looks good. But I'm just... I guess I'm just really curious as to what this game will be like. W would you I, describe it as a morbid curiosity? It is. It is a morbid curiosity, uh, Duke Nukem. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, Jack. I think. That, I think that's. I, I think that's what's so great about it. It's a complete unknown. Nobody knows what to expect. Yeah. It's. It's, God, so, it's been around for so long. I can't believe. I still can't believe that it's actually going to come out. I know. <laughs> it's just so. It's just like the best joke in and of itself. <laughs> that it's actually gonna come out. <laughs> oh god! Uh, next story: The 3DS is officially launching on March 27th for 249.99. Alex, buying it? Woo! Yes, no, go. Some things are very familiar. No. Why not? I would not spend more on a handheld than I would on a console. Oh, this is this thing's more expensive than the Wii. I don't want to go blind from looking at 3D stuff all the time. More powerful uh -huh. than the Wii, to be honest, to be fair. Yeah, probably. Of course, <laughs> that's saying a lot. The Wii is a couple GameCubes duct taped okay, together. Okay, we're not going to... We're not... We're not... We're not <laughs> that's not the official crunch time message here. <laughs> you had your Wii stolen, okay? You know, you're obviously so very now angry. I'm bitter, now you're, I'm bitter about the Wii. Now exactly. I just hate it because I, I can't use it. Uh, <laughs> Um, but, uh, I don't know, I, 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 it's cool, the 3D without glasses is a cool thing, uh, it is, uh, I don't, I'm not a big portable gamer person, I just, when I play games, I just sit on my couch, and play it on the TV, so, I don't feel like this really applies to me. I'm not really that interested in portable gaming. Well, I played it at, at E3, and, and I can tell you it works. And uh, it, it's a little crazy. It's one of those things that I think it's a hard sell because yeah. without seeing it, it's very hard to make an, an educated decision about buying one. Right. So. Yeah, I'm going to be interested. They're going to have to really get get this out because that's what i've heard what people that have played it are really impressed know that it works but everyone else without without holding it and using it it doesn't really mean that much right um so you know i'm sure every best buy in the country will have these things for people to test out mm -hmm. so they really they really need kiosks everywhere right do i you they really need kiosks everywhere right yeah. um so I'll, I'll be interested to see how that rolls out, but I mean, 250 bucks is a. Uh... Well, if you're if you're if you're sad about 250 dollars, let's move into the Sony NGP, the successor to the PSP. No price has been announced, but this thing is packing some kind of monster hardware. Uh, a five-inch OLED screen, a quad-core processor. I mean, good lord. It's a beast. It's going to be very expensive. I mean, I don't know what people are expecting, but it will be very they said expensive. They that, said that it will not be $600. Thank they have gone on record and said it won't be that much. Thank so, God. So there's that. Uh, you know, 
it'll probably be 599 and 95. <laughs> you know what? I, my guess is 300 so that it's close enough to the 3DS. And, yeah. and they'd probably still take a loss on that because it's really expensive hardware. Well, they um, were taking a loss on the PS3 for a long time. I guess everyone takes a loss on... Yeah. Except for Nintendo, who console. sells... Sell, no, Nintendo's always sold at a profit. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But, you know, I... It's really cool. Like it has the touch screen on the, or it has a touch film on the back, so that not only can you control with a touch screen on the front, but you can also do it on the back. It's got dual sticks, which look very dual stick esque. It's not nubs anymore. They actually right. roll, which is what I wanted because that's like you know that's that's great. It looks nearly identical to the PSP three thousand. Yeah. Um, no yeah, more. They, they did not deviate much from. The nope. PSP's design. No, nope, um, I'm interested to see how that back touchscreen or back back touch thing yeah. comes into play, and how how comfortable it is to use. play games yep. and use the touchy thing on the back. I don't, I I don't know. They, I don't know. They they showed vi footage of Little Deviants, mm -hmm. which is the new IP that's going to be coming out of it, and uh, it, it looked interesting. But I want to see if other games use it, or if this will be like a six-axis thing that well, it has they a, make people use for a while. It has the six-axis in there. The six-axis yeah. is also in there. I mean, it it's, has everything. It really. They <laughs> threw in the kitchen sink. They yeah. threw it all in there, and it's 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 really cool. I'm just expecting it to be really expensive. The other thing that they announced really quickly was the PlayStation Suite for Android, which I think is the biggest news out of that announcement. Even though people are kind of latching on to hardware. The fact right. that Sony is going to curate a store, test it on a range of devices, and put it out there on, you know, all on the Android marketplace. You'll be able to go and download the Sony PlayStation Suite and download PS1 games, and then in the future, PSP games, and then maybe, possibly, NGP or whatever that console's called, Suite-enabled right. games, and then transfer information between that the ps3 the ngp all of it really right. really big deal especially because that's where i don't think it necessarily hurts apple and other than the fact that now google will have a curated game store from real development right. really big for google but i don't think it really necessarily hurts apple because everybody's also already supporting apple and there's some really cool software on there but i think it hurts nintendo because now they're just you know they're adding what a couple i you know, tens of millions, hundred million devices to the right. potentially PlayStation enabled lineup. That's huge. That's a really big deal. So right. that's, you know, it's kind of cool. I didn't expect them to do that. Uh, next up, Alex Seropian to lead Disney interactive as layoffs hit near 200. Um, Oof. Okay, yeah, it started like Alex Seropian's gonna lead. It's, it's yeah, it's bad. It's a bad story. This is sad. Um, they, Disney Epic Mickey didn't sell as well as they'd hoped. Um, Tron didn't sell as well as they'd hoped. Um, they big, canceled the Pirates game. They canceled Armada of the Damned. We covered that story a few weeks ago. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a, it's a giant restructuring. Um, they they made two point two billion in profit, but they had a they were still seven hundred sixty eight million in the red, uh, which is a lot. Um, yeah. They just bought Playdom for seven hundred. Fifty million dollars, I think. So that might have contributed, but Playdom is has been profitable. So hopefully, I know that um, the CEO of Playdom is now ahead of in charge of the entire group. Um, but Alex Seropian is leading uh, Disney Interactive. Um, I hope that everybody from Disney lands on their feet. It's a bad, you know, it's still a very bad time to be looking for work. But hopefully, you know, all these talented people from Junction Point and LA were the two that were mainly hit by this at least mm -hmm. in this round um so yeah uh i wish them the best and good luck on all, yes. the, all their future games all that you know so yeah. um but let's end it with some good news uh nearly 1500 games were made at the global game jam this year uh if you don't know what the global game jam is the global game jam is a game jam where people get together and they make games for two full days 48 hours and there's a cat but okay uh hey, can you see this cat i don't we can't see, see it on the screen there we go so let's get, uh so 
we made we made 1500 games this year in 48 hours largest game jam ever held they are all free to download at globalgamejam.org so if you want to play games forever go to globalgamejam.org and see what people can do in uh in no time at all we actually gordon bellamy and i and a team of awesome people at Team Feature Creep, we went to USC, we made a game in 48 hours, you can find it at Single Player Game, but it's singleplayerga.me, or on Facebook, it's apps.facebook.com forward slash single player game, so it's Facebook enabled. So much fun! I have, this, <laughs> the whole Game Jam experience, it's so amazing, so if... If you didn't know about it until now, and if you have any skill whatsoever, can you make music? Can you do voiceover? Can you be a graphic designer? Whatever. Get involved next year. It's it's every year, and we might be doing some uh, game jams or something later than that, but it's every year. Um, so check it out, globalgamejam.org, and uh, so much fun. So worth doing. So that's that's my pitch. <laughs> Nice. I love. I had some, your, your your pitch disguised as a news story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never I've never done it before, and um, it was so it was it felt so good. Like, oh my god, I can't believe we're on Facebook. Like, oh my god, I can't believe this. It was just so many moments. Like, oh, this is awesome. So yeah, grab some friends and go make a game. It's really fun. But that is news for the week of January thirty first, two thousand and eleven. My name is Jack Bogdan. My name is Alex Grinling. And you can find more of this show at crunchtimeshow.com and on YouTube at youtube.com slash crunchtime. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.